if v and w are two vector spaces and t is a linear map between v to w from v to w then the linear map t is one to one if and only if the null of the linear transformation is only the zero vector in v that means if t is one to one then only the vector from v that maps to zero vector in w is the zero vector and to prove that so we need to prove both direction so suppose t is one to one suppose t is one to one and we want to prove that the null of t is the zero vector okay so if x element of null of t so x is a vector in null of t then by the definition of null of t t of x is 0 w that means it will map to 0 vector in w okay and we know that 0 vector always map to 0 vector in w that means 0 vector from v always map to 0 vector in w so we can we can also write this one as t of 0 v because t of 0 v t of 0 v is always mapped to 0 w okay now since since the map t is 1 to 1 since t is 1 to 1 so since t is 1 to 1 so t of x this one equals to that one it means x equals to 0 v okay that means only the vector that maps to 0 w 0 vector in w is 0 vector in v so x is the 0 vector so that means 0 vector element of null of t that is hence null of t is the 0 vector in v so we prove one direction now we will prove the opposite direction so this direction suppose the null of t is the 0 vector and we want to prove that the linear transformation is 1 to 1 now if t of x equals to t of y then so this is in w right t of x that means it maps to w this is also t of y so if those are same same vector then their difference would be t of x minus t y if they are same vector in w so their difference would be 0 vector in w so 0 w now since t is linear so we can write this one t of x minus y equals to 0 w okay so since null of t is 0 vector 0 v so that means x minus y is 0 0 v that means the difference of two vector in v is 0 v that means they are same so we can write x equals to y now if t of x equals to t y implies x equals to y that means that linear transformation is one to one that is by the definition of one to one map t is one to one so this completes the proof